A tense situation between Columbia County Sheriff's deputies and a suspect this morning led to the trigger being pulled, leaving that suspect dead. It happened before the sun came up in North Leeds, just east of Arlington. State investigators have now taken over the case, and News 3's Brad Chameson joins us with what went down this morning. Brad? Well, David, in an officer-involved shooting situation like this, it's common for the Department of Justice to step in and take over the investigation. Now, as they attempt to piece together the incident, friends of the man shot try to make sense of what happened early this morning. About 5 o'clock, sleeping in the living room. Um, we heard somebody knock on the door. When Tony Presta Giacomo was woken early before dawn, he found a sheriff's deputy with a rifle in front of his parents' home. And he told me, he's like, get back in the house. He's like, stay away from the windows, stay away, you know, get up next to the wall. He's like, we've got someone out here who's armed. Presta Giacomo later learned what woke him was actually something else. And we talked to the sheriff, and the, the knocking on the door that I heard actually was gunfire. So that's really sad. The Department of Justice was requested by the Columbia County Sheriff's Department uh, for assistance in an officer-involved shooting. Columbia County Sheriff's responded to a call of an armed person threatening to hurt himself. The Sheriff's Office says gunshots were reportedly fired before their arrival, and when the armed subject approached a deputy, shots were fired and the man was fatally injured. The scene is secure right now. Uh, currently, there's no reason for anyone in the community uh, to be concerned about their safety. Uh, and we're pretty confident that everything here is, is, is contained. Russell Giacomo says the man shot was a childhood friend. By the time I put two and two together, you know, it was already had passed. I already knew that, you know, Sean was on his way. We saw MedFlight land over here and um, saw his family and saw everyone but Sean and saw some of his other friends and, you know, the tears were rolling. He and other friends say Sean Bolick was going through a difficult time, but Presta Giacomo still can't believe what actually happened. I didn't know that it was, you know, I figured it was a drunk driver or something happened like that. They were chasing somebody. Never would have guessed that it was, you know, actually a friend. Until Bullock moved back to Wisconsin within the past year from South Carolina where he was in the Marine Corps. His Facebook page tonight filled with words from friends that he will be missed. Now, we should have a better idea as to exactly what led to this incident when the Department of Justice completes its investigation. The deputy involved was not injured. All right. Thank you, Brad. We appreciate it.